of course, I'm, I, you know, I, I knew I knew the fabulous Moolah uh, from all the way back in the 70s when I first started uh, in the business. <laughs> I would I, I would have to go to Nashville once a week and stay in this old the, the this old Sam Davis Hotel that's been long since torn down now. But that's where the wrestling office was for Nashville. And Nick Goulas and Roy Welch, who owned the territory and they were the promoters, they had their office in the Sam Davis Hotel. And I was I was like a, a, a young kid. That was my first trips away from home, staying overnight in Nashville, you know, at the at the office when I'd go up there to work. And so uh, I immediately realized and 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 I started uh, I would have to go up there once a week, every week. So I immediately asked for the the top floor and a corner room on the top floor. And so uh, and the reason I asked for that was it was I don't know. It was like maybe a 10 story hotel at, at, at the best, maybe seven stories, something like that. But anyway, uh, I mean, and I don't think either, I don't think these rooms were even air conditioned. Uh, but they they had these old windows that you could just pull pull open, and I you know I'd get up there and I'd open the window and I'd look look straight down from my room would be the parking lot where the wrestlers would pull up and park to go into the um, the wrestling office, and so my my the the high point of my week was checking into that room, watching out that window with a trash can a metal trash can full of water, and whenever a wrestler would park. I had it timed perfectly. I would dump a I would dump a whole trash can full of water down seven stories onto their head, right? <laughs> and then, of course, get back in where no they could never tell who did it. And I did that for weeks. Uh, uh, but one one time, there um, who was the wrestler? Man, I'll, I'll never remember her name now. But she was kind of just getting started. And Mula would uh, Mula and Nick Gulas were friends. And Nick would call Mula like once a month. And he would have Mula send in uh, a couple of girls to be on the, you know, to be on the card, and they would work the territory for like a week. They'd go around, they'd make Memphis and Louisville and Nashville and Evansville and all of these towns once a week. And then they'd go back over to Mula's territory and or Mula's headquarters over in the Carolinas. Well, <laughs> this this one finally got me. I think the word had gotten out that I was the guy that was dumping the water on people's head, and so all of a sudden a taxi pulls up in front of the Sam Davis. And out, out steps this young girl wrestler, and she had a, she had one of those old suitcases that were. I mean, back in back in the day, you could get the suitcases were almost made out of cardboard, and and uh, they just had a little plastic handle on them. Well, I saw her getting out of the taxi and starting to come in, and I I fired down that big bucket of water. And it, I mean, landed perfectly right on her head. It hit her so hard. You know, of course, it just flattened her hairdo right out. And it knocked her. It, she still had the suitcase handle in her hand, but it knocked the, it knocked the suitcase right off the handle. Right. <laughs> That's how hard the water hit her. And, and, of course, she went screaming and crying into the office. And, um, and then Moolah demanded to Nick Goulas that whoever did that be fired. Oh. And so, of course, that was me. And uh, so that was my that was my first firing that I got from Nick Goulas. And, and um, but it only lasted about a week. Once the girl back left the territory, they, they hired me back. But man, uh, Mula, Mula and I go way back. And, and Mula and Mae Young, when they were in the WWE together, they were the most incredible source of uh one-liners and material for me. I just had so much fun, and they were so great on, you know, working with it. Uh, you know, talking about their age and everything didn't bother them a bit. You know, I, I said, uh, I mean, just oh god, I mean, just every kind of age joke with Moolah and Mae Young that could could ever happen, and they were just they were just tremendous uh, for me at least. You know, they they just worked so well with all of that. 